Hello everyone, my name is Sabayomi. You are welcome to my channel. Today we'll be looking at Node Cron. So Node Cron is a Cron-like module for scheduling tasks in Node.js. It is used for automating repetitive tasks. So if we head over to npmjs.com, then we search Node Cron. We have this library here. So Node Cron module is a tiny task scheduler and so on. Then this is how you can import and use it so we have the cron syntax here we have the first asterisk is the second then the second is a minute and so on and so forth so this will be fired at every minute at a minute interval so in this code we have node cron imported if you if i go to my package.json you have node cron here so then we are saying node cron dot schedule fire at every five seconds then we print something to our console i'll do a quick demo of that i'll fire node index.js and at every five seconds we should have something printed to the console five seconds as simple as that so let me stop this program Clear my screen and minimize my terminal. So let's look at uh, how we can use it in a real application. So I have, first let's go through this app. So let's look at what we have at the moment. We have user models. So we have Mongoose. Mongoose is an ODM, an object document mapper that is used on MongoDB. So we have a user schema and the name is required. We have is active, which is optional. We have email, password, row, and so on. Then if we go into our CJS, our CJS, I have this .emv that loads environment variables from our EM, .emv file. Then I have const users, user from the user model file. This set is used for removing some warnings from Mongoose. Then we have a uh, mongo.connect process.emv taking this mongo URI from our EMV. And if not present, we want to use this at coded value. Then we want to seed, create this seed function. First, we want to get all the users in our DB. Then if the user length is more than zero, we want to delete all, log this to our console. Then we have this array of objects, object one, two, and three. The only difference between these objects apart from their email is that we have is active as false for Billy Doe and we want to commit into a DB, then log to a console, then end the process here. Then at the end, we are invoking this function or method. So let's see it. And in my package.json, I have this seed script here. So we, if you run node, API, which is referencing this folder, then go into app. I mean, sorry, if you run npm run seed, then we go into node using the runtime, then API folder, then go into the seed.js. So I'll do npm. Let's check our MongoDB compass first. If I reload, it is empty at the moment. Then if I do npm run seed should have user created user deleted then if i do a refresh we should have three documents here so let's look at how we can use node cron to send reminder to users that are inactive so we want to send a reminder email to every user which is active as false so let's go through this snippet we have node cron imported then user is coming from our user model the send email so we have the send email coming from our miller.js so we're using node miller to send email to our user so the the name is cyborg the from name is cyborg coming from our emv i can show you that at the moment so um I'll go back to my reminder then we declared this function log reminder scheduler started on the console into the console then we have node cron schedule at every five seconds the five the first star 
or asterisk means seconds, second, we have minutes, hour, uh, day, and so on and so forth. Then, you know, I try catch by getting all inactive users, then filtering it by this condition. Then we have a promise here. We have a map. Then we are sending it to every every email. So hello, hello, your name, your account is still inactive. Please activate your account. Then we have this function exported into our API app. Then at this point, we can activate reminder inactive. So it's coming from this file here. Cool. So if I go to my Yop mail, let's go to my Yop mail. This is the billy at yopmail.com for the second guy that has inactive with inactive as false. So if I go back to my code and do npm run dev, so npm run dev is coming from the script, uh, this nodemon API app.js. So at every five seconds, we should have the email sent. So this is one. Let's make it two, two, and I'll kill the server. Go back to my browser, reload my. So we have two, two emails sent. I believe do. Your account is still inactive. Please activate your account. Cool. So let's look at uh, the second use case. We want to uh, comment this guy out and I'll activate delete inactive users. Then if we go into the function, we have not cron imported, we have the user from the user model. Then we have delete inactive users. So we log this guy to the, to the console, then at every five seconds too, we want to check our DB with this condition. If is active is false, delete all, then log inactive users related to the console and suppose that and again we want to call it inside our app.js our main entry file so if i run this guy again you have so let's check our db first if i reload we have three documents that is three users here so if i do npm run dev so the latest scheduler started then at the end we have inactive users deleted so if I go back to my DB, if I refresh, we should see just two users. Cool. This is how you can use the scheduler to automate your task instead of manually doing some things on your application. And there are online tools that you can use to generate this cron expression. One is crontab.cronhub.io. So the for five minutes you have this guy. So if I put nine, it's saying every nine minutes. If I put star, another star there, it should be one, one minute, every second, I mean, every seconds. If I remove one, it should be every minute, and so on and so forth. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Thank you for watching.